So when we get into this goal setting or talking about what kind of teams they'd like to lead, what kind of people do they want to be around? What is the mission of the company? Am I aligned with their values? As cheesy as some of these things might sound on the outside when we talk about mission and core values and all this, it's really fucking important. When you can design your life and, uh, all right, so clear, clear this up. All right. When you can design your life, having the job and all that, there are so much control that you're giving up when you go into a corporate world, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I will only have certain experience. So probably people out there, do you think that they have this automatic feeling that every time they take a job, they have to, they have to give up their control of their life to a certain degree. And maybe you have a different view on this. So Tell me about you can design your life. Yes. And I think I would change that to life by design. Okay. Um, we did a, yeah. uh, we did a book called that, by the way. You did? Yeah. Okay. So people get into a job search forgetting that they can and should, and that it's absolutely vital that they design their life around their work. So when we get into this goal setting or talking about what kind of teams they'd like to lead, what kind of people do they want to be around? What is the mission of the company? Am I aligned with their values? As cheesy as some of these things might sound on the outside, when we talk about mission and core values, and this, it's really fucking important. And what it comes down to, you know, when you're targeting large businesses, we have to get down to the nitty gritty of who exactly you're reporting to and who exactly are the teams. That's what it, that's what it comes down to. So you don't want to necessarily get too caught up on who, who are you working with? What are you doing every single day? Maybe who is your boss? What is the mission? What are the core values? I do want to say as cheesy and woo-woo as that sounds, this should not be something that's just totally ignored in the job search. Because this is where like red flags start to come up, culture um, issues start to reveal themselves through the interview process. If you have a high focus on these things and a high focus on does this do the inner workings of, of this organization actually support my personal, professional, and financial goals? If it doesn't, then we know that it's not a good fit. But people totally forget their own goals. So they're not looking to make sure that company is able and willing to support those things. If your leaders don't support those things, you you're going to be, you're going to suffocate and you're going to be uh, looking at the next decade with like, what did I just do with my time? It'd be burnout, probably in divorce, like, like this cycle that we're talking about all the time. We can also tell a short story about uh, when I became obsessed with life by design and started with like vision boards and manifestation and, yeah. and prayer. When I start to get, got, you know, get into those practices uh, it never failed. Like all of my vision board, I just made a vision board for Q1 this year. This is a great story. Made it on January 1st. It's everything on the vision board. I'm like, my vision board is weak right now. I'm like, we, it's already done. Like it's already, we already did it. Uh, and that used to take me a couple of years to maybe complete a vision board. So I just, there's a momentum with, um, you know, creating a vision and having a, a focus on what you want to create in your life. So. All right. So tell us, tell me a little bit about how you would take that, that principle and help your clients do the same thing. I mean, do you convey that to your clients? You, it sounds to me like you do help them put together vision boards and core values. I guarantee, right? I don't think anybody sitting down with them as an employee and say, what's your core values, right? I don't think, I don't know of anybody doing that in life except for entrepreneurs. So is that what's happening? That's exactly what's happening. Uh, I can only think of one organization that does actually do this. And it's actually... Um, Gary V was a Vayner Media. Um, he has a chief. I, I think I mentioned this. I don't. Hopefully, he chief still emotional has. officer. Is that what he named? I thought it was chief heart officer. Oh, chief heart. Yeah, that's right. Right. And that person is the highest ranking um, person inside of his company, and that person is responsible to know the people um, and to know what drives them because people move businesses. Businesses don't move people. That's Brandon Ooh, Dust. With that's a great way to put it. Where'd you hear that? Is that from somebody? Brendan Dawson. Oh, wow. When we talk to people, if they're open to, uh, you know, creating a vision board, I love the practice. But if not, I at least have them sit down and visualize their future, write the goals down. Uh, we have a practice it's a, or a uh, exercise that they do to uh, 
get really clear on that. How do you want to grow? How do you want to contribute? What do you want to experience? And what are your personal, personal, professional, financial goals? So that way they can build that into their own interview questions, right? Because now we want to put the person in the hot or in the control, like control seat in an interview. Now you can actually ask this leader, put them on the spot, tell them what your goals are and ask high quality questions to get to the bottom of how they manage their people. And we can look for red flags. And hopefully if you're, I don't know, in some sort of, if you're not, if you're not bleeding cash and don't know where your next mortgage payment's coming from, some people do have that problem. But if you're not, then we have some time to not fall into just desperation for the next job. We get to design the life around the career and the work and the mission that they're doing. And once that happens and that's all dialed in and now you've made it through, you know, um, three rounds of interviews where you got really clear with these people, that's when things start to get really exciting, designing your life around your work and your mission in life and your own core values. So if you're really confused about all of that and you don't know where to start, go back to your own core values in life. And if you don't have core values in life, then we know that's part of the problem. And we that is help. it, right? That's foundation number one, right? That is the, that's the building block you have to build your life and your career from.